What questions should you be asking yourself when your message isn't getting traction? Good day, my name is Matthew Ewell from Leading With Nice, where we want to help you inspire others, build loyalty, and get results. Recently, I had Hannah Murray on our podcast, and she is a birthing nurse and has a huge Instagram following all about birthing, and I wanted to find out from her how do you how does your how do you get a message like birthing out there uh, when it's not like a you know it, it how do you get that message out there and build the following because lots of people talk are having babies lots of people talk about having babies so how do you build and share a message that gets through all the noise and she had uh, some great tips now before I go further uh, I do have to say because we talk about this in the podcast. If you're a regular listener here on Leading with Nice, uh, Hannah is the sister of Naomi who works here at Leading with Nice. They're both wonderful. Um, clearly, they are cut from the same cloth. So kudos uh, to Naomi for recommending her sister for the podcast because in addition to having this huge following online, uh, she was great and it is lovely chatting with her. So first of all, um, the first question she said you should ask yourself if you're message is not getting traction is are you actually committed to it and so what does that mean and there's not one answer right so she talked about having three kids uh, a husband a full-time job and you know her Instagram uh, following and doing lives it takes a lot of time so she had you had to ask herself at one point like am I fully committed to seeing this message through and if you are asking yourself that question right now and you're thinking, okay, um, I'm doing X, Y, and Z, but really I need to be doing A, B, C to get this off the ground and you're not willing to do it, then the answer is no, you're not really committed to it. And that of course will take you down a whole other set of questions about do I, do I have the resources to be committed to it? Do I uh, actually love it enough to be committed to it? Like, like Hannah like loves being a labor and delivery nurse. Like she loves it. It is, you know, it um, it uh, emanates from her her whole body. Like you can tell that it's just a thing she finds true joy in, uh, and helping new moms with like breastfeeding and all the things that comes with uh, motherhood and, and uh, being uh, having a new baby. She's committed to it. So are you committed to it? The second thing she would say is, what are you offering? that can't be easily found somewhere else, like on a website, in a book, in a movie, in a video. Like what is your unique offering that uh, people can't get elsewhere? So for, for her, she would say, it's not like she's telling people information that's not a- available, but what she's doing is she's taking information that is often, um, it's a diaspora of information, it's all over the place. She's taking the good stuff in this, in this very uh, narrow lane and putting it all in one place. And she vets the information to make sure that it's coming from a good source. So for example, if you search like, um, you know, how should my child be one day after giving, uh, giving birth, and you find five websites, you as a non-professional won't know if all five of those websites are actually giving you real and good and proper information. Well, what she can do because of her knowledge is she vets that information and uh, puts it uh, out on one channel in a, in a narrow stream for people. So the same question for you, like what are you doing that is, um, that is unique? I had a professor in college, I went to school for journalism, John Lott, amazing baseball writer, a brilliant journalist. He got his start in baseball writing, like he was a college professor, he did local news before mainly, uh, by writing a blog I think called True North Baseball and he exclusively covered Uh, the Blue Jays minor league system and nobody else was doing that and it's funny because I remember he would tell me about players he's like oh watch for this player and three years later boom they're like I think Sean Green was one back in the day that he had um he had said is going to be a a big deal Carlos Delgado uh that era so you know what are you doing like you know in a way when I talk about the leading with nice message the one of the reasons that Uh, we called our company Leading With Nice is because we found that there are certain qualities that uh, when people describe their bosses, they describe them as being nice and that those qualities actually lead to an increased bottom line. That is our, that's our lane. We don't, we're not called Leading With 
strategic mindset only. We're not called uh, leading with muscle, right? You know, we're not about um, building you to be physically fit, right? That that's a great pursuit, but it's not us. It's not the lane we stand in, stand in, um, stay in. So, what are you offering that is unique to you? And the final thing, oh man, this one was so powerful. Uh, and I knew a bit about this story before. The final thing is like, what is inspiring you? Who's inspiring you? You're seeking to inspire others or entertain them at the very least or educate them uh, with your message. Who's doing that for you? So Hannah talked about her grandmother who uh, was a Holocaust survivor and just um, the fortitude uh, that she brought and taught uh, her as a young woman and into her adulthood. And it was just, that was, that's what she drew a lot of inspiration from her. So I'd ask you, like, who inspires you? You know, you see over my shoulder here, I have a couple of books. I do a lot of reading. Um, I love to keep up and current on uh, leadership and uh, strategic communications, uh, thinking and writing. So that, that's where I get inspired from. I love reading uh, articles and seeing YouTube videos that talk about trends. That's what inspires me. What is inspiring you? Who is inspiring you? I have a few friends too that, um, wow, well, one of my friends, um, and I work with him, Chris, uh, when we talk, it, so, sometimes we know we're in a moment of, we're just talking about ideas. We're not going to maybe do anything with them ever, but it's, it's inspiring. And that's good. Not all the time, obviously, but that's good. It's inspiring for me. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, if you are having problems with your messaging, if you need clarity or help with that, if you uh, don't really know a process to help you discover what makes your message unique or how to pick out the things that are unique, um, yeah, let us know. We'd love to help you with that. Uh, Leadingwithnice.com. You can uh, send us a message. There's that little fun thing in the corner where I'm waving. Click on it. Send a message through that uh, or an email or here on this platform. And until next time, I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video.